In honor of the start of Walking Dead Season 8, I thought I'd have a look at zombies. <laughs> I have two ideas that I've used in the past. The first is a simple way of making some great looking zombie prosthetics. I picked up this skull mask in my local pound shop and used this as a negative mold, building up layers of liquid latex inside round the eyes and mouth. I did four layers in all, letting each dry before applying the next. Once dry, I dusted it with baby powder to prevent the latex from sticking to itself as I removed it from the mould. I then trimmed off any excess latex and decorated with some Halloween makeup. Before applying the prosthetics, I put black Halloween makeup around my eyes and mouth, then used spirit gum to fit the latex prosthetic to my face and blended the edges with more liquid latex. I then used black and green makeup for a zombie skin look and made holes in some of the latex, adding red makeup inside for a nice torn flesh effect. I again brushed the whole thing with baby powder and the makeup was complete. I think you'll agree this one has a reasonable walking dead zombie look. The next one is from my Film Fights winner Zombie Rescue. I used a similar method as before, but this time I sculpted the mould for my appliances myself. I had a plastic cast that I'd taken of my own face that I used for this. But alternatively, you could use a head armature or a simple cheap mask like this one. With oil-based clay, I used clean clay, but plasticine would be fine as well. I built up the features on the face casting. This I'd use as a positive mould, building up layers of latex on the outside. Again, I did four layers of latex and removed it from the mould as before. But this time, when I applied it to my face, I painted liquid latex onto my skin, let it dry, and the latex appliance is stuck right to it. Because, as I've said before, latex loves to stick to itself. Here's a time lapse of the entire makeup process, which actually took over an hour to do. Thanks Liv. If you'd like to do a Phantom Ween shout out for me to feature on the show, then send them to me at thephantommonk at hotmail.co.uk. Well that's it for now. Thanks for watching and see you next time. Phantom Ween.